developed since the dawn of history and has reached a very high standard, especially that the materials needed are available and found here, like cotton or linen or flax and wool. The operation of weaving grand carpets or small kelims takes place on a horizontal loom which size depends on the size of the kelim itself. The warp of the texture is stretched between the two beams of wood which are fastened to the frame of the loom. Rods separate the threads of the warp. One of these certainly serves for a shuttle. A larger rod that runs through loops along the side beams of the frame appears to serve to fix the used thread. The manufacturer uses a cutter. After she lets the thread run and ties the knot, she cuts it quickly in an unnoticed movement. It takes years of learning and practice since childhood to be able to master such difficult yet artistic handcraft. Rugs and kelims manufacture takes place in villages and mostly all the oases of Egypt. The traditions that push the women into homely skills like weaving and the quiet patient nature of the locals made them excel in such artistic handcraft which attracts both Egyptians and tourists. They form an essential part of the economy of these villages and are sold in special shops for rugs and kalims in an attractive display. <laughs>